what is going on you guys and welcome back to another video in today's video we're gonna make another epic transition in luma fusion which looks like this Now for this transition, I'm also gonna use Affinity Photo, but you don't have to use Affinity Photo at all, or you don't have to do any masking. You can simply just go to Google and type in whatever transparent object uh, that you want to use for uh, a transition like this, and then just follow along on the tutorial. Now, the reason why I'm using Affinity Photo is to mask out parts of the video, which I create in a sequence. So that means the video will be more seamless and I will have a more seamless transition because everything is blending in together so I'm gonna show you that example uh, soon now before we head over to the tutorial make sure to hit that subscribe button that would be highly appreciated and also let's take a look at today's sponsor of this video which is epidemic sound so if you're looking for sound effects for your videos, whether it's for lower thirds, pop-ups, cinematic videos, or gaming videos, Epidemic Sound has you covered with more than 90,000 sound effects of the highest quality. The browsing experience on their website is one of the best. It's so easy to search for the specific sound effects you need. And if you want more of the same type, you can click on the Find Similar button and the website will find everything which is similar to the one that you listen to. You might also need some music for your videos and this works in the same way when you find a song that you like you can click on find similar to get all the similar songs listed i find this extremely useful when i make my videos if i find a song which i want to use as a background track for my tutorials instead of struggling to find similar songs to match the first track i click on find similar and I have multiple tracks that I can use in an instant. The price comes in at $15 a month, but you can try it for free for 30 days with a link in the description below. So now that we moved over to the iPad and over to LumaFusion, I have a clip prepared on the timeline. I'm gonna take parts of this clip here to use as the transition object. Now to do this, I'm gonna go over to the exact point in the video where it's easiest for me to mask out a subject or object to use as a transition. And in this case, that is here. Then I'm gonna go over to Snapshot and take a photo of this uh, video file here so we have an image to work with and I'm gonna go over to Affinity Photo. Once we get over to Affinity Photo, I'm gonna import the newly taken photo which we took in LumaFusion. I'm gonna go over to the selection tool and I'm gonna draw a mask around this object. I'm gonna use freehand, which allows me to easily correct it later on. And this can also be a little bit rough. It doesn't have to be accurate because we're gonna add some motion blur later on. Now, once we're done with the freehand masking, we're gonna tap on the refine tool and now we can adjust the rough edges around the object. Now, after we cleaned up the rough edges around the object, we're gonna go down to output and select a new layer with a mask. Now here you can see that we still have some rough edges around the object, so we're gonna move over to the erase tool and we're simply gonna erase whatever we want to erase around the object to clean it up even more. Now, like I said, this doesn't have to be accurate, but it's important that you remove most of the parts which can be visible in the video. Now, once we cleaned up everything, we're gonna go over to export and then share and save the image. Once the image is saved, we can move over to Luma Fusion and import the image. So 
So now that we imported the image to LumaFusion, you can see that it has a transparent background, also called PNG. Now you don't have to use exact parts of your video files and do the masking part. You can also go over to Google and you can Google for certain types of uh, images or objects with a transparent background if you want to use something else. But this is also a method that you can do by taking parts of your image and then mask it out so you have the entire video blending together with the same objects which you have in your uh, sequence which can also help sell the effect. Now after we imported the photo we need another video file so we're gonna drag another video file over to the timeline and we're gonna take the transparent object and place in between these two. Now I'm gonna make this two seconds long because then I have more room to work with and I can trim it down later on. The next step is to go into edit on the object and you can now start to play around with the changes and uh, make the animation as you want. For this example, I'm going to go from the top right and I'm going to have the objects coming in towards the bottom left and then rotate to the top left and then go back to the right, filling the screen, creating the transition. Now I'm going to let this video play so you can see how I created this transition at normal speed and you can also follow the keyframe adjustments if you want to make something similar.
So after you've finished making all the keyframes to your animation, it's also important that you go out to your timeline or stay inside the editing section and play through to see if there's any changes you might want to do to make the transition even smoother. And in this case, uh, just some slightly changes to the rotation and scale made the effect a whole lot better. Now after you're done with your adjustments, we can go over to the timeline and we can place the object exactly where the transition and the raw cut between these two video clips are to make the transition smoother. And once we've done that, we can also trim the length of the layer containing the object. Now as a final touch here, we're going to move over to the water droplet on the top right corner and we're going to go to the beginning and we're going to go over and find a motion 20. Now at the beginning here, since this is moving fairly fast and then it slows down later on, we're going to start by making a keyframe at the beginning and we're going to go over to radius and we're going to increase this to something around 40. And once the object starts to slow down, we're going to make a new keyframe and we're going to change the radius to around 10 to 15. And every time the object is slowing down, we're going to slightly reduce the amount of blur. So here we have two keyframes in the middle, which has less blur than the first one. Now, as the transition goes on and the object is moving out of the frame, we're going to go to the end and I'm going to increase the radius to around 40 again. This will create a smoother transition where you have the blur following the speed of the object or the transition that you are creating. So once you're done, all this you will have a transition which is looking like this So there you have a pretty simple and easy transition which you can implement into your travel, cinematic vlogs, videos, whatever you are making on your channel. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on a transition like this and if you want to see more transitions just like this, uh, let me know down in the comment section below. Also hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already and that's going to be the end of today's video. So I see you in the next one.